I'm gonna fireball all this. And then we're gonna do some split lane pressure. That's what this deck does really, really well. We're gonna go in for evil wall breakers on that side. We force out the log, which is crazy to me. What's up everyone, it's Jerky here, and today we're gonna be trying out the new Evolution Wall Breakers. For those of you that are out of the loop, the Evolved Wall Breakers dropped today on Valentine's Day, and they are available for purchase inside of the shop. A lot of people speculated they were gonna cost money, and yeah, those people are right. It's 10 US dollars if you want the Evolved Wall Breakers. <laughs> so of course, as a content creator, you know we had to shell out that $10 just so we could have it in our deck. So here's the deck I'm gonna be using today. As you can see, it is an absolute spam deck. You really just wanna overwhelm your opponents. The Evolved Recruits and the Eva Wallbreakers paired together so well, it is so hard to defend this deck. My boy put me onto this deck, and I gotta say, I kinda of feel like I'm a glass cannon whenever I'm using this deck. The offensive pressure that this deck has is absolutely insane, but at the same time, you can struggle to defend because like you don't have a building, so imagine trying to defend Hog or E-Giant. It's pretty tough. Regardless of all that, this deck is a blast to play if you have the evil recruits and the evil wall breakers this deck is a blast go ahead and give it a try so that's enough yapping from me but before we get into some gameplay i just want to ask any of you watching to please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel uh, we just hit 500 subscribers recently that's awesome so any additional support would be appreciated uh, it's free for you but it does help me a ton so like i said i appreciate that and let's get into a game all right into our first match of the video here Honestly, in terms of starting plays, I feel like you can actually go for, like, almost anything. Um, and my... Wall break, start splitting wall breakers would probably be my my recommended play. He goes in for the Royal Giant. I'm gonna pressure in both lanes. I expect him to ignore the left side. Yeah, I would say wall breakers do do a lot of damage. Uh, we forced out the log, which is super awesome. So I'm gonna go for some goblins here. And then again, pressuring while defending. Because I want him... If he spends on the left, like, it looks like he's going to... And we're going to get damage on the right. And that's the idea here. I place the goblins a little outside of the range of the firecracker. So the spear goblins don't die. You can see glass cannon of a deck. That That's the the name of the game. Okay, we're going to block the fisherman here with the, the skeleton king ability. Hopefully force out like a small spell or something like that. Or they're just going to need all that damage. <laughs> so that's the thing that is kind of hard for people to i feel like understand about this deck is the the pressuring while defending is so 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 important i think he's gonna eat those that's crazy okay so we're gonna dark goblin early because if if the royal giant isn't shooting at the tower uh he's not doing that like pop back animation that he does so we're gonna go like that he uses the log we're gonna go in with the goblins here and i think we're gonna eat no no shots so that that's amazing uh fine defense fine defense by us um, Inferno Dragon made things a little difficult, but, like, not too difficult, honestly. We can actually defend with a Skeleton Barrel. That's a really good trick, is, uh, if they have, like, minions or Inferno Dragon, you can defend with a Skelly Barrel, uh, if you don't want to play troops. But since he played the Lumberjack as well, I'm gonna go like this. And then... Like so... And we're gonna eat a little bit of damage here. I kind of have, like, had an awkward cycle to defend this, but... Net net in the the overall game, we're still kind of chilling. So, cycles the log. That's interesting. I feel like I wouldn't have done that against this deck. Um, but you know, I'm not the Royal Giant player, so maybe he knows more than I do. I'm gonna do a two four split here because I don't want to give him spell value onto the tower that he wants to go. Okay. Goblin gang here. Goblins. Once that E spirit connects, I'm gonna go in like this with the wall breaker. Nice. And that Royal Giant does not take our tower, and that was the goal, because even if it did take our tower, look at how much damage we did to the opposing tower. Um, so it really wouldn't have mattered, to be completely honest, if they did take our tower. And Fireball does do 274. Nice. So he goes in. That makes sense. We just need to watch out for, like, an RG in the pocket or something. Yeah, there it is. I was going to say, that's really the only play, but I feel like that wasn't a good move, because it's not going to take our tower, and he sacked, he sacked his tower, so... That's a good game against Royal Giant. You'd think not having a building that it would be a bad matchup, but it's super winnable. So that's a first, a good first game, and we'll catch you in the next one. Into our next match here. I will say something else that I feel like you could get tripped up on about this deck is you don't have a small spell. Um, I know for me, playing and maining log bait, it's really weird for me, like playing a deck that doesn't run a small spell. So that can definitely take some getting used to. You need to learn how to defend without a log or without a zap or something like that. But the, the plus side of having a deck that defends in that manner is having a really, really nice counter push. 
Um, at least that's the idea. So because he used his his small spell, I'm gonna go like this, right? Fireball the princess. And look at how much damage we're gonna get there. Yeah, forces out of night. That's perfect. Doesn't have a princess in hand for this. If he does go for like a goblin barrel, we can play our goblins in the back. Yeah, that's actually fine for, with me as well. And we're gonna kite back this with the wall breakers. That's a really important play to know because yeah, look, it forces out a ton of elixir from them. Beautiful. So we, we survived that interaction perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, you can kite with wall breakers whenever it's a troop that like, like a knight or something or like a Valkyrie. Wallbreaker kite's a really good move. Okay, if he goes in with the Royal Hogs here, that's fine with me. We're just gonna play our Skeleton King and let the remainder of the Goblin Gang counter that. Skeleton King actually a pretty good answer to Hogs because it does do Splash. Nice, so we're gonna go like this. Pressure both lanes, get ready for him to play like a Princess or something. And then, interesting, plays a Mini P.E.K.K.A. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, we're gonna go for our Goblins in the middle here. And we're gonna chill. I haven't yet had like a good, um, like time to play my recruits. Um, so I'm gonna try and set up for it here. I'm gonna drop a dark goblin in the back, kind of bait him to play something in front of the princess. And once it locks on, I'm gonna go for my recruits. Nice, and I'm gonna go in with wall breakers on one side. And um, I think he's gonna struggle to defend all of this if I'm being completely honest. And yeah, he, he does struggle. He eats that entire wall breaker. And I'm going to be super safe here. Defend it like this. I'm really glad that I did. Okay. Goblins here. Princess is going to lock on. We're going to go for a dark goblin. And then we can kite that knight, like I said. Mm, okay. Evil bats make that situation a little difficult. Okay. Bad wall breakers. But it should force out some elixir. Yeah, it does. And this is going to work out well. We're going to skeleton king like so and we now have our evolved royal recruits in hand which are amazing okay i don't want to pop the ability i don't think it's going to get a ton of value um i wanted that mini pekka to go in front and it does bad log we're going to pull everything over and then go in for our evil recruits we're going to wall breakers on the opposite lane um because he needs to play something else or one of those connects perfect he eats that He's also eating all of that on the right side as well. So in a battle of longevity, uh, we're in a good spot here, honestly. I'm going to go like this. I think he's going to... Yeah, he's going to go in. Going to pressure wall defending because he goes in for that log. And I don't think he'll be able to defend that for no damage. So a little too aggressive by my opponent. Um, but yeah, we got the dub. So that's a good match. Catch you in the next one. Into our next match here. We don't have our wall breakers in the starting in our starting hand, and I wouldn't recommend going for recruits first play. I don't think it's good. Skeleton barrel is fine. You can play it at the back too, so it, like your opponent can't immediately respond. It kind of like forces them to leak elixir. I'll take the fireball here. The main reason for that is it's going to force them to spend something else on it. So yeah, it forced out some uh, archers. So that's perfect. Doesn't have the archers in hand. We're going to go with the low dark goblin here. It's going to take care of the archers and give us a little counter push. That's the thing about this deck is like, whenever you're defending, you pretty much always get a counter push. They go in with the Sparky. That's pretty aggressive. I'm going to go with the Wall Breakers. I expect them to just ignore it. Okay, interesting. interestingly, they do go for the Barbs. So I'm going to go like this. Uh, Skeleton King, because it does splash, it's a really good answer to the Barbs. And my opponent probably doesn't know this, but we have recruits here for the Sparky, uh, and that's just going to get absolutely shredded. Even if he goes for the arrows, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. My opponent uh, just spent all of his elixir on that push, and uh, he's in trouble. We have a nice counter push coming down onto both lanes. He, uses, he used his arrows, which he absolutely should have saved for defense, uh, and we pretty much took both of their towers, so... Life's good there. I'm going to go for the wall breakers here just to eat the shots of this Ewiz. For two elixir, we can defend. Uh, so that's worth it. Uh, we have our evil recruits as well. So if you hate, like, beat down, like, uh, goblin, giant, sparky decks or anything like that, then this deck is really, really good for you. Okay. I'm going to split Goblin Gang here. Uh, some of the Goblins will go and distract on the right side, and the Spear Goblin's going to help out with that chip. 
Okay, I'm gonna let that go. Um, <clears throat> I do have Evo recruits in hand, which are a really good option for the Sparky. So I'm just gonna chill. I expect him to Elixir Golem in front of it. That would be my guess. Yep, there it is. So we're just gonna relax, like I said. And then I will fireball all of this. I think it's a good fireball. Okay. And then I'm just gonna chill. Let that do its thing. Yeah, I didn't want to play anything else because I had a feeling he was gonna go for arrows. So we're gonna relax here and try and take advantage of a counter push. That's really what we want. We have that tower in range. We're gonna fireball here on the Skelly Dragon, so that way he has to spend on that side. We can pop our ability here. Nice, so this tower's going down. Really bad barbarians, because watch the wall breakers are gonna explode on it. Nice. He has to go in for the arrows, so life is good, life is good. We're gonna cycle Dark Goblin in the back. We're up a lot of elixir here, so no need for us to go crazy. Okay. Pressuring while defending here is super important. Okay. Dark Goblin threatening the three crown. Very nice, very nice. Okay. We're gonna cycle Goblin Gang in the back. Early Dark Goblin here, hopefully to force out the arrows. That's what we want. We want him to use the arrows, like, in that sort of situation. Okay, uses the arrows there. Fine with me. We're gonna go recruits here. It's gonna clean everything up. No arrows in hand is really, really good for us. Nice. Yes, he finally has to defend a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful. Dark Goblin here. Nah, I don't know about that Dark Goblin, actually. Okay, we're going to go for recruits in the back. Kind of go for a clean reset. And our defense is really solid right now. Or just in general. He goes for the arrows there. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, I will take this fireball onto the evolved archer as well as the sparky. And I don't really see him breaking through, to be completely honest. Not with our deck. We'll see, though. We'll see. Recruits here. He goes for the arrows. We always have something in cycle. Like, if they only have one large spell, like, it's really hard for them to break through. Because as soon as they play it, it's like you're back to another counter. We're going to fireball everything. He's giving us a lot of fireball value. He's kind of just spamming everything. Uh, okay, we're going to go in. Like I said, we have another counter in hand. And yeah, they couldn't defend, so we'll play to our opponent. It shouldn't have gotten to a two-tower situation, but we'll go ahead and take the dub and move on to the next one. Into our next match here against Henry. We'll go ahead and toss out the good luck, and we have wall breakers in our starting hand, so you know what that means. We're going to split them at the bridge. Nice. We're set a bomb tower, so that's awesome for us. Um, I'm also going to get a free king tower activation here as well. Looks like he's cycling to like a hog or something. Maybe he doesn't have it in cycle. There we go. Get the King Tower activated. That's exactly what we want to see. We're gonna pop the Skeleton King here. Nice. He's gonna get one hog shot, um, but we're gonna have a nice counter push, hopefully. Alright. So we're gonna go like this with the Dark Goblin, take care of that Firecracker, hopefully. And we do. We're gonna pop the ability. He goes for the log, and um, that's not gonna full counter on that side. So you can see, perfect, we gave more damage than we took. That's exactly what we wanted. So defending Hog is not easy with this deck, unfortunately. Um, you kind of need to like bridge block a little bit. <clears throat> and then defend down low because they can just go for a firecracker. Uh, and it kind of demolishes both of your troops. Okay, I'm going to chill here. Uh, I don't want to cycle anything into the bomb tower, and I think I want a firecracker, or fireball the firecracker, so I'm going to let this go. And we're going to do a well-timed recruit split. I don't know why he's leaking. I feel like if I was running this deck, I would be cycling hogs onto the tower, so. Weird. Weird that they're doing that. We need to have fireball ready in case they go in for the, yeah, exactly. Yep. Exactly what we need to do in that situation. Dark Goblin's gonna help out and then counter push in the opposite lane. And we have wall breakers to kite. If we we don't even need to kite actually. Dark Goblin going to work. And my boy is struggling to defend. So that's perfect for us. Okay. We're gonna go for our skeleton king and we're gonna go in for a skelly barrel. Hopefully force out the bomb tower. And I want yeah, there it is. Perfect, perfect, perfect. 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna split them like this. And then, yeah, I need to get back to my Fireball for this reason. We hit the Hog Rider as well, so that's awesome for us. And he's gonna get a lot of damage on this push, absolutely, but um, we're gonna have a nice counter push. Like a very, very nice counter push. Okay. Yep. We gotta wait for the log. Nope. Okay. Never mind. No, we don't. I'm just gonna let this do its thing. He goes for the log here. And my boy is uh, grasping at straws, to be completely honest. We're gonna go like this, like this. And uh, absolutely eviscerate that firecracker. And my boy was BMing all game. And uh, wasn't even close. So we absolutely overwhelmed them. Good match. See you in the next one. I right, did our next matchup here, and I'm also I would also recommend trying this deck with the Little Prince as well. Um, that's another really good addition to the deck that you can add. So I'm putting in the Little Prince for the Skeleton King. I think either variation is fine. I would honestly do whatever card you have at a higher level, because Little Prince is still like super broken as well. So it's not not at all a bad option. Yeah, they do that, so I'm gonna go in for the recruits, and that barrel is actually in the back, so I can go for goblins here. And he's going to have to spend on both lanes, so I'm going to go in for the wall breakers, and I don't think he'll be able to defend that for no damage. So, really good start. Um, you have a really good matchup against Logbait. Logbait is not very good in the meta right now, um, so unfortunately, this is one of those, I would say, bad matchups for Logbait. So he's going to get, I think, one shot on the tower with that, because we reacted pretty quickly, so all good. Okay, I had a feeling he was going to go for the barrel, so I went for that. We're going to defend pretty nicely here. So here's the thing. He doesn't have Princess in hand right now. Because uh, he went for it at the bridge. So, like, I don't really know how he's going to defend this very, very well. Um, I think it's going to be hard. <laughs> so. We were just patient. We didn't panic, right? Like, we, we ate a little damage with the Knight. Um, but we're going to dish it all back. He has to go in for the Log over there, I think. No. Okay. Doesn't have enough Elixir, so... We get a ton of damage on both sides. Um, I'm in a little... Mm, yeah, I'm in a little Prince here. I'm not going to panic. Um, and then we're going to go for the Goblins here. Okay, Princess is off the board. That Goblin Barrel going in, though, unfortunately. Not my best defense. I feel like I could have done it a little cleaner. I should have known he was going to go in for the Princess with that. Uh, so that's my mistake. We're going to pop the ability here. A little late. He's probably going to go for a Goblin Gang on it. Yep, makes sense. So well played. Dark Goblin early. In case he wants to go for like a cheeky princess or something. And then we're just going to chill. Skeleton Barrel like this. Exactly. So that way we can get the princess with it. Can't keep doing the same stuff. You know what I mean? Okay. Awesome. Awesome. The little prince. And get ready. I'm gonna fireball all this. And then we're gonna do some split lane pressure. That's what this deck does really, really well. We're gonna go in for evil wall breakers on that side. We force out the log, which is crazy to me. Okay. Is evil knight gonna bail him out? And my, we're gonna pressure on the opposite lane. Yep. He needs to play something there. Perfect. I'm gonna go like this to keep my Dark Goblin alive. He goes for a pre-log, so I'm gonna go like that. And that Dark, dark Goblin got a ton of value. Really scary defense. He thought I was gonna have to play like a troop on it or something, and that's why he went for that. Um, so that was really good for us. We're gonna have our recruits ready in case he wants to go for a princess. We're gonna go like this. Now he can't go for a princess at the bridge, and we are set up for a really, really good counter push. And my boy, I don't think he can defend all of this. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Yeah, I'd be floored if he could defend all of this. So we're going to go like that. And yeah, we take the left side. Good game to our opponent, but it was a tough match for them anyway. So if you don't like log bait, this is a good deck for you. So GG's. We'll see you in the next one. All right, into our next matchup here against Picks. Okay. Interesting hand for us to start with. I think I'm going to go ahead and just... I'll cycle a Dark Goblin. And then we have a Goblin Gang that we can play uh, into those minions. Just kidding. We're going to take a fireball. And then we're going to pull this all in. That's fine. That was a, a positive elixir trade for us. Because they spent three on the minions and six on the e-barbs. And we were able to get a good fireball. So it looks like this guy is running some sort of bridge spam deck. Uh, obviously, I don't know 
the rest of his deck entirely. Uh, so I'm actually, because I know he doesn't have minions in hand, I'm gonna go in for recruits. Kind of an aggressive play, um, in single elixir anyways, but it gives me an excuse to get to my evolved ones down the line. So that Skarmie doesn't do a great job, I am gonna pressure with it, yeah. Nice, pours out the fireball, perfectly fine with me. I have goblins in hand to go for a goblin surround on the dark goblins, so we're gonna go like this. Perfectly timed, uh, we have a little counter push as well. Go goblin, go goblin, yeah baby, okay. Uh, skeleton Barrel in the back is kind of a good reset. We're up a teeny bit of elixir. We need to watch out. Okay, he does it again. Let's say, what a play, what a play. Oh, that. Oh, well, gosh. Alright, it's like that. <laughs> Alright, it is what it is. Uh, missed the fireball, we got punished for it, but I'm very much not intimidated by the, uh, the skill level of my opponent, so we're gonna go like this with the recruits. And we're going to get ready to pressure. I don't think he can afford a Skarmy right away. So, yeah. Those wall breakers are going to connect. Cool. And I think that tower is going to fall into fireball range, which is really good for us. So, yeah. Net-net, we're okay. Even though my opponent is crazy. Okay. Go for the little prince. I think he might E-barbs. Yeah, I was like, this dude's going to E-barbs in front of it. So, I'm going to try and hit... A lot of stuff with my fireball. And we do hit a lot of stuff. That was the goal. I was trying to pull the E-barbs back so that way we, it was in fireball range. He's being very aggressive there, so we're going to be aggressive right back at him. We're going to go like this. And that wall breaker is going to explode onto the Skarmy. Yeah, for those of you that don't know that interaction. And then it still lives. So, <laughs> not the best skeleton army by my boy, to be completely honest. Uh, but it is what it is. I'm going to defend this heavily because I don't want to lose my tower. Glad that I did. Perfectly timed. And uh, at this point, I don't see them breaking through my, my recruits. Kind of like a weird deck, honestly. I feel like it wasn't that good. He had a hard time dealing with all of the spam. Like, it's so interesting because he even had a skeleton army, too. But still not, like, very, very good at, at defending. So, huge dubs. We're going to go ahead and take it and move into our next one. Probable last game of the video, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm having fun with this deck, so I might I might do one more. They go for the archers at the back, no surprise. Evo archers are still really good. Like, I don't think one of the best evos. Well, maybe. Top three or four, arguably. But you don't see them as much as you did when they first came out. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that. He goes for the NATO. I'm going to go like this. I'm not going to panic. Pop the ability. And he, he did spend a lot there. Um... And he didn't really get that much damage. So I'm going to pressure here. I think he can bar barrel like last second. Now he actually had no elixir because of that bowler. So really good uh, by us to keep our cool on defense there. Like not overreact or anything. And we're alive. Does that bowler hit my goblins? Oh my gosh. Okay, so kind of had like brain lag there on the defense. I'm not even going to lie. I probably would have defended that completely differently in hindsight. Um... But it is what it is. I will take this fireball onto everything. I think it's a good fireball. Yeah. He still has to spend on those recruits. So that's fine. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so running graveyard. This deck actually has a lot of really good answers to graveyard. So I'm I'm okay with this matchup. Minus the really, really bad start. I totally brain lagged on what I should have done to defend. So we're going to go ahead and flip that around though. Once we, uh, once we hit double elixir. I don't want to spend anything else here. I was thinking about popping the ability, but I'm just going to let it go. Glad that I didn't. Yeah, he was anticipating it, so that's really, really big. We're going to have my Dark Goblin ready. He goes in for the NATO, so I'm going to go like this. And then Goblin Surround on the Bowler should be an adequate response. Yeah, it's going to go like that. And then it's going to target that last Goblin. Mm, I could have Fireballed that. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play my Evo Recruits on it. Mm, no, I'll Fireball it now. And then we can kite back to Evo Knight with our wall breakers. Beautiful plays. And that, that baby dragon. Oh, I was trying to block it from locking onto our tower. Unfortunately, it does lock. Okay. I don't know if we're going to be able to save our tower. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. So we're going to make sure that we take their tower instead. Beautiful, beautiful. Tower down. Dark Goblin's going to have to put in overtime here on this. 
We're going to try to DPS this down as soon as possible. And I need to ignore that knight. Okay, he goes for the freeze. We need to go for the wall breakers. And I think we're going to live. We live. Okay, so despite that, like, horrendous start, uh, really nice win by us. We didn't panic. It's all good. Whew. So that's a good game. We'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next one. That's going to do it for today's video. Here is that deck one more time in case you want to take a screenshot. I'm telling you, this deck is so much fun. Hopefully you saw from the videos today. So easy to overwhelm your opponents. So much spam. This deck basically plays itself. Have some fun with it. Uh, and we'll go ahead and see you in another video real soon.